the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> so this was cracked. It split the wood here. Cracked all the way down here. Separated. I got some cracks here that I got to fix. We had cracks here and you can see that we have there you go. We've filled them with CA glue to start this. <laughs> now, what I'm doing is I'm getting everything repaired on the outside so I can sand it. Then we got to cut out more back here. I'm getting rid of these tweeter holes all together. They will be no more. And then I'm going to get on the back side of this and I'm going to build from here, which I got a lot of this done all through here and down this way more and that's i can't really put no more in these but everywhere i can i'm gonna add more chop mats and resin and a lot of people was like ditch the panel i'd love to i'd love to start over i can do more without these here but the problem i'm gonna run into is we're trying to hit shows early next year and i got to get all this done now what you see laying under here is a red door. <laughs> and yeah, I cut it through this on Saturday. In Saturday's video, when I took the doors off of Jangalang, I could have just went in and threw this on and drove it home. But what me and Dustin have been in here looking at is where to reinforce it. We think one place is coming from here down to here with a metal strap of like some uh, flat bar and then make another door lock thing out the gate just to put on here because we know that'll crack. We could almost tie them two together, but a main spot is uh, one, make a plate from about right here that goes forward and bends over and ties in right here because you've seen my door split right here. And then it split all the way across to here so we're going to come from here all the way up to about here with another flat piece of steel to reinforce this whole area where the door broke so by doing that oh and i got a new mirror too but by doing that it should fix a whole lot of the issues that i'm currently having but uh i do have to cut some of this door out like i got to cut a lot of this out up here for them big ass horns to fit in but I do like my horns. Another thing that I'm having is I keep blowing horns out the damn door. And this front piece here is only a uh, half inch. And I did that to try to keep weight down. So what I'm thinking about doing is why I got it tore apart here is cutting a block of wood, kind of how you see my standoffs in here that I use when I make the door. But put some uh with glue some some bigger pieces of wood back here on the back side to give me more to screw into it even it even split across my damn button there guys like we just breaking shit and then i had to glue it back together here it actually split the fiberglass from the wood but i'm rambling on too damn much i'm just showing y'all what i got I'm going on to remove a couple things like this I'm going to cut this hump out because it sticks up so far for my door panel to fit. And then I got this little hump here that I just need to cut from like there to there to flatten the bottom part of this door out. Because if you see, it sticks up. But I'm going to set the panel up here after I cut that out and see if I really do need to cut all that. I'm going to try to leave all the steel in here that I can. Um, by le uh, last time I cut this whole section out, my door popper goes somewhere in here. So when I cut this out, it's going to really weaken it and it broke like here and here. So we're going to weld a piece of steel across here. Hopefully that'll be done. I got the panel laid up here and lined up. I did the old spray paint trick, hoping that, uh, it'll mark the door for me where it needs to be drilled and the rivet nuts put in. And then me and Dustin were over here, which he's uh, 
He's putting the little chop mat pieces down in his panel to reinforce his A pillar. He can cut them up into, this is, like I said, that's the best way to do it. Depending upon what you're working on, cut it in big pieces, little pieces. And if but, you can't get your brush in the hole, you just pour that shit in there. Oh, it'll, yeah. It'll do the rest. It'll do. And he's going to pour pretty much in I'm here. I'm going to pour that whole in full. Yeah. Once I, what I got left over here, I'm pouring in that hole. But let's see. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It, it kind of it kind of marked it where it where it needs it. But me and Dustin found a lot more areas in here that uh, I can actually drill and put a few more of the little rivet, rivet nut pieces. But this just kind of gives me an idea, like find a center, kind of center, you know, wherever. And even you can see this little one here. But that'll get me started. <clears throat> and some of the places, like I probably need to come back in this area. But I definitely need some up here. I just got to figure out where I got to cut this out for my horns. And then figure out where the rest need to be. After I get this door all prepped and we get the, the reinforcement shit welded on, I'm going to start laying Vibraflex on a, a lot of this interior structure shit. Bring some with you? No, nope, but I probably will tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna clean it up and put some Vibraflex on it. And it's got a good brace right here, which is why normally the outer skin of these Jeep doors doesn't really crack. It's because you got a good solid brace in here, which it probably wouldn't hurt me to to squirt some PL or something uh -huh, in there. Squirt. <laughs> 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 but oh, that, this is this is what we got going on, guys. Base head shit. Base head shit, definitely. So, uh, door modifications are coming. This is gonna be the piece that fits here. I just gotta continue cutting it. But it got hot on this end. It's it's still pretty warm. I got to flip it around and start cutting in this away, but it, it's hot for now. And then, yeah, this side here, it's going to be a lot trickier, but we know that once we brace that, the next part of door flex is going to be back here. So you got to do something back here too. And then another door plate here. And this door should be set after that. Um, what I really see is uh, breaking and probably the B pillar. But we'll cross that bridge back. And it's in place. And before anybody asks how this was bent, what a hammer. <laughs> old huh? Old school. Yeah, old school. You just start. Basically, Dustin laid the full piece up here and marked where the beginning of the curve started and kind of ended and just beat it on the vice for a minute and then in the floor. If you bend too far, no problem. Hit it here to bend it back. But look at that. So at this point, there we go. Now it's fully in place because it's tied all the way. Yep. If that bitch, uh, if it breaks the door at this point, we got issues. But we know it's gonna stiffen it there, make this the weak link. So now we gotta try to find something to come from about here, around that to here, which that's gonna take some CAD, uh, card, cardboard aided design. In this area, we had, we had used the CAD, <laughs> and that is the CAD. This is gonna be kind of a bitch to cut, but that ain't gonna be bad. From CAD, to that and yeah you got to hold it in place but once you hold it in place bam perfect that is going to reinforce all this and guys as thick as this shit is and it's like three times thick as the door we have determined that we don't need to put anything right here because if this mother here don't hold it i mean we we've kind of figured out we can drive a truck over this so if this don't reinforce the door enough, that ain't nothing gonna reinforce it. 
So I'm getting ready to pull the latch out because uh, Dustin said he can make another plate and we can weld all this shit at one time and be done. And if we make a plate to put on here, might be able to cut a little strap of steel to go from here. I don't know if it even be worth it to go from here to, to the plate. I don't know. I think I think the plate reinforcing it and this reinforce. I think that honestly with these, it's going to break the B pillar the next time it breaks something. This old door here off of 98. You know, they say a red door is good luck. Or is it bad luck? I don't know. It's a red door, though. I'm going to be driving around with a red door for a hot minute. Either way, it's, it's luck. It's, yeah, okay, it's luck. It's a new door. So we've <laughs> already done CAD on this. I cut the piece out. Dustin was doing some fine tuning on it. And uh, we're going straight out the damn gate <laughs> on this one. Dustin even got a little cool-ass tool here to uh, bing it in to fit this uh, taper that the door has. See how they, they, they div it in? Now he's even got the tool to do that shit. I mean, that's, that's just cool ass shit right there. I gotta get the bolts for him. So we gotta bolt it on for test fit. And then tack so everything's like lined up. But God, we're knocking this old door out pretty damn quick today. Like we ain't been playing, definitely. And he had A pillars, yeah. Here's his A pillars. And that that's solid fiberglass all down through there. Like he wasn't even playing. <laughs> them things are gonna be stout. So he's just been working on them while I've been cutting shit out. We've just been going back, yeah. But nice and indented. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt this thing on. And then we got to get a welder. Out. Yeah, and then we just get the old welder out and start. I got everything cleaned up for him already. That way we can let the professional welder tell where I went. Yeah, <laughs> Dustin. He's like, we'll, we'll weld all this up, and that way all the professional welders that don't even know how to weld can jump in here and uh, tell him how bad his welds look. <laughs> Happens Plates on. Plates ready to go. Plate for the front. And before anybody asks, yes. Yes, if you bring us a bare door, which means take all your window shit out, your power door lock stuff, just leave the latch. Everything else has to go. No rear view mirror, no window, no trim, no seals. Yes, we can reinforce your door for you. Yes, we will charge you. <laughs> but I fear somebody's going to be like, I need my door reinforced. I want you guys to do it. Yeah, bring us the door. And we will definitely do it. So, yeah. And we moved the latch this time, guys, so it won't catch on fire. All right, now we're ready for all the welding critics to come in. But we got one plate on. Pretty quick like too. Beautiful welds, didn't burn through nowhere. Awesome. Plate number two. So I doubt this door <laughs> breaks anywhere now. I mean, maybe, maybe Hinge. I don't know. I mean, what would be the next weak point, honestly? But the way we're doing it, it should hold up to at Whatever. least five or six shows. <laughs> and brace number two of reinforcement is in. Yep. I don't even need them welds there, don't even need to be cleaned up. That, that shit's run. The old place had a little problems yep. there, and it was a little paint in the way it made it pop. Just uh, basically on this. Just scuff that shit and paint it. <laughs> but now all that's left is the front one. He's knocked this shit out quick. And then we're going to carry it outside and run it with a truck and see how it works. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> we don't have no thin metal here, but at some point I need to come from... Oh, I was filming over here. 
from across here with something. But I got to get my panel. Figure out where your popper and all is yeah, first. Laid on here. Figure out where my popper is going to be down here. And then uh, I, I still have to do some cutting, I'm sure. I don't think I have to cut anything down here. I think my speakers, running the shallow speakers, I built the door panel here to where once I cut the back out, the motors stick a little bit inside of them cutouts. So that's all good, but the horns, I got to cut out up here for the horns. So once I figure that out, we think we can put another rivet nut insert here and put another brace right between the horns but we might have to thicken that up depending upon how thin that metal turns out. We'll, we'll figure it out. More welding point. footage? Hell, why not? And he's off and running. Might actually gain a couple of tenths of a DB from doing this shit. I mean, nah, because I burp it with that door open. Shit! All right, so we got the front. Look at that. Now keep in mind, we went all the way up to here. This bitch broke across here last time. We went up, we went up extra high to, to ensure that this area is gonna be good. And I think it's gonna be good. And there again. It's like three sixteen yeah. steel. Yeah, it's three sixteen. Everybody crit criticized Dustin's weld last time he did that for me when he had the flu, wasn't feeling good. Hell, he might have had COVID. I don't know. He just he had been feeling like shit all day. My door happened to break at the worst point for him because he just wasn't feeling good. And uh, he's like, shit, we, we go ahead and fix it so you can drive it home. So, but anyway, yeah, look at, look at how hot it got there. That ate through the paint. Like, there's some heat in it. There's some old heat in there. <laughs> this side's still radiating really well. I think I get legs. But, uh, yeah, that shit's gonna hold up. I don't see, and we added a little extra weight to the door. Not a lot, but enough. <clears throat> so, yeah, I gotta get this out. Cause the, this was broke on this door. Is that all the welding? That's all the welding, yeah. Let's cut this gas off there. Yeah, we really gotta lay out the, uh, the door panel and figure things out from there. It got hot at a couple of spots, but we don't care. You know why? It's got to be raptor lined at some point anyway. We don't know when, but it's got to be raptor lined. But the door panel, I've CA glued it all back together. Uh, it's pretty rigid again, just from the CA glue. Filled in the tweeter hose. I kind of messed up cutting the tweeter hose when I cut them. Uh, the outer ring I had right. But that, that small hole the tweeter went into, I had a hole saw, and the tweeter slid in the hole saw fine. Now, keep in mind that the, the tweeter slid into the hole saw. It was kind of tight. I wasn't compensating for how thick the hole saw blade was, so it was kind of doomed from the get-go. So I'm going to block this off, sand this down. And uh, my homeboy, Zach's got a 3D printer. I'm going to see if I can get him to print me a black JAL logo for each side to put right across this area. I think that would look good. And now that we're all glued together, got the hose marked on the door, what I did is I cut out more right here. And I can get in here and start laying in more chop mat in the area that cracked real bad. But I got to do the same thing on the other door panel. So it is what it is, guys. Um, it's just a piece at a time, you know. When you have a demo build, shit like this happens. And, uh, you know, you're going to break stuff. And it seems like I put the DS-18s in there. And I'm breaking more stuff than I ever thought I was going to break with them DS-18 subs. Because they like it loud. They, they do like it loud. And it just goes to show you guys what X-Max on a subwoofer does. Sub, a subwoofer with good X-Max and some good motor force, that's a deadly combination. And I think, I think the demo build's doing great. 
hopefully this door holds up good and my door panel with a lot of reinforcement hopefully it will hold up good i think i still probably need to uh cut some little pieces of wood to go right behind these but that's that's not nothing major um but I do that on each door to make give more support for the horns because but then again if I stop the door panel from flopping as much it, it might be fine who knows but anyway I got some more work I got to do so I'll be back all right got it still not all the way hard but you get the idea of what the hell we're doing here right now keep in mind I gotta do the same shit to the other door but when I cut the plugs, I cut the ones for the other door also. I'm trying to think ahead. But, yeah, we just need to go in and sand, you know, whoop, 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 after this cures up pretty good. Um, yeah. And then tomorrow, I'm a, I'm a, Dustin's got a whole roll of chop out here, but I'm going to bring my own fiberglass tomorrow and some uh, chip brushes so I can get in back on the back side of this and reinforce the shit out of all of this and uh hopefully it, it i'll try to get the door panel mounted to the door but i gotta i gotta put the door panel on there and mark that door too that that door so i can cut out these damn horn holes because the horns are so damn deep so yeah i mean we're making a lot of progress today. Um, it's just, this shit's all time consuming, guys. It really is. This ain't just something that you haphazardly throw together. Uh, anything worth doing takes time. So that's kind of where we're at with all this whole process. But anyway... I'm just waiting on this shit to harden up enough that I can uh, start sanding it to try to get it flat. But peace out, guys, and as always, base the hell on.